Hello and welcome to today's SAP Business One video on the MRP wizard within the MRP module. Today I'd like to give you an overview of how the MRP wizard functions. To get to the MRP wizard, we'll go into our menus here, drill down to the MRP module, and click on MRP wizard. To begin the wizard here, we'll click next. You have the ability to create based off an existing scenario or create a new scenario. I'm going to go based off an existing scenario here for my UPSI kit. Then I'm going to click next to continue the process. Here it gives you scenario details from start to end date. If you have any hor horizon length, excuse me, and down to more specific segments like item number. Once you are satisfied with your selections, you can click next. And it lists all the items based off of your item group that you selected. You can see here is my UPSI kit. I have the ability on the right to add items, remove items, or deselect all. Once I click Next, it gives me another breakdown based off a of company and warehouses, and you can check this as you please and what, what satisfies your business needs. Clicking Next, there's a final selection criteria based on what you want to see and other recommendations. You can see at the bottom, I want to see recommendations for items that I need to purchase based off the forecast. Finally, I run the wizard and it populates the information based off previous sales histories. Here you can see the two component items that are involved within the kit. If I expand it, it breaks down based off of your initial interval, which you have in stock, based on supply and demand, and it gives you recommendations. If I double click here and I do view fit column width, you can see that it's recommending that I do a purchase order for this item for a quantity of 200. It's a very clean feature that helps you organize your products for your system that you need on demand. This concludes my video and I thank you for listening.